Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to cover a few questions today off the mathematical knowledge portion of the ASVAB. Now remember, the mathematical knowledge portion is not so much word problems as it is straight mathematical content. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. So this question kind of like breaking down the basics of algebra here. It says, which of the following is equivalent to 3k squared plus 4k? So what does it actually mean to square k? Well, that would imply that you are taking 1k times another k, and then you're multiplying that by 3. And then what about adding 4k? Well, that means that you would be adding k four times. So in other words, that would be adding a k plus another k plus another k plus another k. So in this case, when we're looking at what I have drawn out right here, that means our answer is d. All right, let's make some quick work of this guy. It says, for which of the following values of x is this number sentence true? Well, the first thing here is to get x by itself. So I'm going to go ahead and add x to both sides to get it to cancel out over here, giving me that 25 is less than 10 plus x. Now, because we have a plus here with this 10, we can subtract the 10 from both sides, giving us that 15 is less than x. So in which case is x larger than 15? Well, the only number in this list is a. So this question says that we have to take 460 and decrease it by 15%. The first step is going to be finding out what 15% of this is and then subtracting it from that number. So let's break down this 15% into two pieces, 10% and 5%. 10% is easy because you just moved the decimal place to the left once, giving me 46 cents. Now, what about that other 5% to make up the total 15%? Well, 5% would be half of 10%, so that would be half of this guy, which is 23. So if I add the two of these together, the total for 15 cents would be 69 cents. So 15% is 69 cents. Subtract that from here, and you end up with $3.91, which will be a total for A. So there's lots of ways to find out basic fractions like this, but one of them is just to do the long division way of figuring it out. So when you're doing 5 over 6, what are you actually doing? Well, you're saying that 5 is being divided by 6. Well, one way you can do this is by thinking of this as 50 instead. Well, 6 goes into 50 8 times, which gives us 48, which if I subtract these two, it gives me 2. I bring down the next 0 giving us 6 goes into 20 three times for the 18, and then we're going to have more left over. But at this point, I have what I need. We are looking at 0.83 as a final answer, so that's going to be C. So a lot of things to look at in number 25. It says, what's the volume of the liquid remaining in this cylinder? First off, how do you find the volume of a cylinder? Well, it's a circle that's going up into the air. So the area of a circle is pi r squared, where r is the radius, and then we have to multiply that by whatever the height is because you're going up from there. So in this case, our circle is down here at the bottom of our cylinder, so half of that would be our radius, so we're looking at 4. Well, 4 squared is 16, so we have 16 pi. And how tall is this guy? Well, it's not the full, but you can see here that it's split into five sections, and one, two, three of those sections are filled. Well, I'm going to multiply that by 2 because there's five sections and we have 10 centimeters here. It gives me 6. Six. So that means I'm going to be multiplying this guy by 6 centimeters. So 16 times 6 is going to end up giving me 96 pi. Well, that's all for today, guys. So go ahead and hit that like button below if you found any use in this content. And remember, if you want to see other things like this, go ahead and check out the videos over here. And they'll help you practice for your next attempt at the ASVAB. Good luck, and I hope you have a wonderful day.